What's going on today guys? It's Joe the Pro here back at it again with another video. Before this one starts today guys, I need you to please drop a like on it, hit subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. Today what we are going to be reviewing is the pin counter. And the pin counter is this device. You'll find it kind of towards the back of the distributor. See what happens. I'll grab a pin here from the table. So I'm going to show it to you with the machine off and then we will do a demonstration with the power on. So as the pins are coming up the pinwheel and they're falling onto the distributor to be fed into the table, they are going to pass through this threshold here and this is actually a pin counting device and what activates it is this hot dog looking mechanism here. So basically, when the pins are traveling through the threshold, the bottom of the pin pushes on the lever here, or the hot dog, whatever you want to call it, and it passes under there. And as it's passing under there, if you look above here, it's actually counting each and every pin that passes through it. So as you can see, if you look up close here, you'll see there's numbers on this dial here. And when each pin passes through the threshold and it moves the hot dog up, it actually trips the pin counter, causing it to rotate to the next number. So it was at zero before, so now it's at one. And if another pin were to go through, it would go to two, and then three, and so on. All right, guys, so the pin dropped on. It trips the hot dog and now the pin counter is back at zero because it fed all 10 pins onto the table. Alright guys, so as you can see we're feeding pins and it's coming the last one. And as you can see that pin didn't come out of the wheel after the last pin went through. So basically what that was is the pin counter was on the number nine. So when it fed the last pin and it tripped the pin counter to zero, that actually closes the solenoid that's on the back of the pin gate and that's how it doesn't overfeed the pins. When the table receives all 10 pins in the cups and the pin counter is at zero, that is what stops the pins from falling out of the distributor. Without the pin counter, the pins would just keep feeding because it would never know how many pins are in the table. So another question you may have is how does the pin counter get power? So if you look close here, you'll see that there is a wire that comes out of the side and it goes down and it's zip tied to the side of the distributor here. Go down under here. So if you look up under the distributor, you'll see that wire right there and it comes down here and it's attached to the yoke right there. And then there's actually an outlet in the frame of the machine here that the pin counter plugs into. If I go ahead and take that out here, this is what the plug looks like. That's what the outlet looks like. Some common problems with the pin counters are just them the plugs falling out. And to better prevent that, when you plug the pin counter wire into the outlet here, push in and then twist it to the right. That is what locks the plug into the frame of the machine. So then it does not come unplugged while people are bowling, preventing the machine from cycling. That concludes our overview of the pin counting device on the AMF 8230 pin spotter. For more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button down below. Or if you have any requests for future videos, make sure you let us know by commenting them down in the comments below. Or you can send us an email at joethepro181 at gmail.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, and peace. And have a great day and make sure you do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next one.